Okay, friends, today we're going to do a pop art lesson. Pop art is um, an art movement that emerged in the United States during the 1950s. Um, bold, colorful, very different from what art was um, before that time. Uh, the artist that we looked at at the beginning of the video was an artist by the name of Roy Lichtenstein. Um, very comic book-like. So we're going to kind of play around with um, his artwork and take a peek at that and see how we can come up with something fun um, that he kind of came up with. So what I thought would be kind of fun was to do um, text abbreviations. We're all at that age where we're abbrevi abbreviating things. Um, so let's see. Um, some abbreviations. Uh, the one I know, I bet you all know so many more, is L-O-L, -L, laugh out loud. Um, let's see what's another one. Um, I don't know. I D K. Um, I should put, make those L's so you guys can see. All right, so there's two. You probably know a thousand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the laugh out loud, um, and I'm going to take a, a page out of Roy Lichtenstein and make it into a pop art. I'm going to make it pop out like that word. So his elements in art were primary colors, which are red, yellow, and blue and had the dots and it had bold outlines. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and do some block letters. Um, we've played around with that in a couple of videos before. So take a look at your block letters. They do not need to be perfect. I like to do all of my stuff in pencil. So I'm gonna get started with that. Okay, so I said I was gonna pick out my LOL. Um, so first I'm gonna do is do my block lettering. So my block lettering, and I'm not gonna make it too big, I don't too big of a piece of paper and I wanna make sure, I want it to look like an explosion. Um, usually with words like that, you're focusing on one area. So here we go, I'm gonna do my L and I'm just doing block letters. I might get a little fancy with it. Um, I want them to overlap, I think is another thing that he did with his letters, so and then make this L go behind. Maybe see it just a tiny bit. I'm actually gonna make sure it's kind of in line with that one. Okay. Um, so after you get the lettering done, I would go ahead and, my eraser's yucky. Um, I would go ahead and go ahead and trace that. You can use a colored pencil, um, definitely black is suggested. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and trace all of that. And we're gonna add a shadow to our letters today. We'll talk about that. Clean that up in a minute. So I've got my LOL. All right, now we're gonna do a shadow. And so what we're gonna say is, where's our light coming from? So if I have a light on one side, I can see the inside, I'm gonna see the inside of these letters. So I know right here, and I'm just gonna put a little line down and I'm gonna shade just a tiny bit, just an edge, so it becomes a little bit thicker. Okay. And then I know right here on the inside of my O, I'm gonna have a little shadow in there. It's only gonna be on one side. And then it's gonna come out just a little bit behind there. But I'll also have an edge, this L will have a little bit of a shadow too. And then this edge. And then if I had an edge on this L, I'm gonna definitely have an L on here. All right, so now we have all of our design. I'm just gonna go back here and clean it up. I get messy with my marker. Fill it all in. 
All right, so it's just that when you're doing a shadow, especially with marker, it's, it's just easy. You're just kind of doubling up an, a line, but you're only doing on one side of all of the letters. I can actually do, and I missed it, I can just double up this edge of this O right here too. I always miss something. Okay, now for the design around the outside. How are we gonna make this explode? Okay, so now we're gonna start our background to this. Um, so my background, if you remember, we had some explosions, we had um, one that went pop, and so it has different lines, has different layers. Definitely don't forget primary colors, um, our red, our orange, excuse me, our red, our yellow, and our blue. Um, I'm sure orange definitely made its way there, so, um, and I don't remember too many with purple, but you can always add it. So first I'm gonna do is I'm going to start with some lines that pop and all I'm doing is just figues. And some of it went off the paper, that's fine. After I do that, I want a layer of the um like the smoke the clouds around it so now i'm gonna do some bumps I'll do some over here some over there maybe i'll connect it over there um maybe do a small one right here so i've got that layer and then the next layer um do some kind of some some lines that kind of emulate um Move, move, excuse me, motion to, and then maybe I'll have one, a couple lines just pointing out, going out that way, a couple lines going out that way. So I've got layers, 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 layers. All right, I'm gonna do a little coloring. I'm gonna trace this, and I'll come back with a semi-finished product. Okay, here we are, we have our LOO. I've got everything outlined. I've started adding some texture. The texture that I have started is the dots. Um, the dots in the background kind of emulating a newspaper and he would do different layers. So each layer had to be different. Something on here needs to be white, definitely. So whether it is you decide to do your letters white or one of your backgrounds, but only one of them. So like, I think I'm gonna keep this one white and these are gonna get colored, the primary colors, and then this background's gonna get colored. So in this layer right here, I could probably keep a white or a color. Um, so it's up to you which one ever you wanna try and do. So play around with layers and how you're gonna put them all together. Um, I'll get back to you when I start to color. And I tell you right now, I'm gonna actually color mine in color, I mean, excuse me, in crayon because it's a lot of coloring. Um, my Sharpies won't color very well. My color pencils would probably take a lot. Um, so I'm realizing that if it's a large space, usually crayons or big thick markers will work. So I'm gonna use either one of those. Okay, so I have finished my pop art. A um, couple things just to talk about. I used my primary colors. I did some texture in the background. Um, I kept, remember I was talking about keeping one of these areas white. I did do some gray texture back here with the clouds. You can see I did shade it just a tiny bit. Um, and I did thicken up some more lines just to make it pop a little bit more. Um, and I'm really glad I, I like this idea. Um, so I hope you find your own little chat and have fun with this. And again, if you come up with the one that you really like and would like to show me, please email me and send it. I'd love to see it. Thanks and have fun and I'll see you next time.